Hey y'all, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Memorial Day cross wreath. And today we are going to use um, some deco mesh. I got red, white, and blue. That's 10 inch. And then some wired ribbon. You need wired ribbon because it's important so you can bend it in the way that you want it to bend. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how to create this wreath, the tools that you're going to need. And this is going to be a pretty long video, so sit back, chill. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel. I had did an Easter wreath before. I wanted to do one this past year. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to make this. You're going to need a cross wreath form. I got this at the Dollar Tree. You can find them online. You're going to need some 10-inch deco mesh. doesn't matter what color, whatever you want to use. And wired ribbon. Don't use regular ribbon because wired ribbon you can kind of manipulate and make it bend the way you want it to bend so for this i have my blue my red and my white so i'm going to show you step by step how much you need for each wreath you're going to need 36 pieces of mesh and 36 pieces of ribbon three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen and there's two on each one so let's get started we're going to start by cutting out the mesh so since I'm using three colors and I need 36 pieces, I'm going to do 12 of each color. Now, I'm going to do them 15 inches each piece. So I have a mat right here. I'm going to roll it out on. If you don't have a mat, you can use a measuring tape, a ruler, whatever you want. And also I have a, rot uh, a rotary blade. So that helps me to cut it easier. If you don't have a rotary blade, you can use scissors, but I'm doing 15 inch pieces. So I'm gonna do 12 of each color. So this is my white, that's one, two. And rotary blade just helps, it's easier to cut. If you have scissors, it's just gonna take you a little bit longer. Either way it goes, it doesn't matter. Um, but I just wanted to kind of share with you guys how to do this wreath step by step. So we're going to take 12 15 inch pieces of white. And then we're going to do 12 15 inch pieces of red and 12 15 inch pieces of blue. That way we have 36 pieces of mesh in total. And we're going to do the same thing with the ribbon. We're going to do 36 pieces of that. So since I have three of them, it's going to be 12 of each one. See, the rotary blade just helps to cut it. Makes it quick and easy. I just roll it out on my mat and I cut 15 inch strips. Now this video is going to be a little bit long, but I just wanted to show you guys step by step how I do it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, one more, twelve. Okay, so twelve white. I'm gonna move on to the next color. Twelve red. Fifteen inches. Each one is fifteen inches. And you can do as many colors as you like or as little colors as you like. It's all up to you. Since it's Memorial Day, I'm going to do the red, white, and blue theme, and I'm just going to mix it up. And at the end, it's going to be really pretty. I have a video where I did Easter cross wreath. Um, you can do them in any color, any style. These are great for grave sites. They are just really pretty in Memorial of anybody. Really. Six. Seven. Eight. And I probably should put the camera down so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. 
Well, in a second. It's just going to take a little while. So I just, like I said, it's a lot better when you get to see the whole thing from beginning to end. If you want to fast forward through the video, you can. I'll try to show a little preview of what it's going to look like in the beginning of this video. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I got my 12 red, now I just got to do my 12 blue. All right, you guys, let me adjust a little bit. So once again, I got 10 inch mesh and we're doing 15 inch strips. And we need 36 in total. So if you want to use the same color, just do 36 15 inch pieces. If you want to use two, then you do 18 of each. I'm doing three, so there's 12 of each. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing with the ribbon right after. I'm going to cut 36 pieces of ribbon. I'm going to show you how to dovetail those. And um, if you guys end up making one, if you can, leave it on my comments. I like to see what you create. Six, I need six more. One. Get a gun kit. Two. Three. Okay, we got all of our mesh cut out. Now we're going to move on to the ribbon. I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do with that. <clears throat> so all of our mesh is cut, 12 pieces of each. And for this one, I'm also using some red, white, and blue ribbon. And since I'm using three, I'm going to do 12 of each. So let me go ahead and cut the plastic off of there. So for these, I'm going to do each strip 13 inches. And you're just going to keep cutting 12 of each. Oh, I don't like these scissors too much, but let's try them out. So for this, I just used regular scissors, 13 inch pieces. And you're just going to keep on cutting 12 of each one or like i said if you if you decide to use like two different ones or four or six or however many you want to use you just got to multiply or divide that by 36. so So I'm going to go ahead and probably fast forward this a little bit to move it along. I'm going to keep on cutting the ribbon and I will show you what's next with the dovetails. So I'll be right back.
All right, so the next step, you're gonna take all of your ribbon and just fold it in half. And you're gonna dovetail all of them. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now, this is why you want wired ribbon. Now you fold your ribbon in half, and then you're gonna fold this in half. And you got your wired end over here and your plain end over there. But you're gonna cut it on an angle. So you're gonna cut it like that. where it leaves it at a point on both ends. And that dovetails your ribbon. So you're gonna go through and you're gonna take all your pieces of ribbon and dovetail them. You're gonna fold them in half and go from the inside that's not wired all the way up into the corner of the wired ribbon. And that's gonna make your dovetail. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that to all of these. And once we get that done, then we can start assembling the wreath. And I'll start showing you like how to put it together. But, you know, it takes some time. You know, when you're doing this, you have to put some time aside. You have to be a little bit patient and just go through and get all your pieces together. That way you can start assembling your wreath your uh, wreath. Same thing to the next batch. Dovetail all your red ribbon, and then you're going to do the same to the white. Okay, so we did all the red. Now we're going to go ahead and do all of the white. Once we have it all dovetailed, I'm going to show you how to assemble all of the bundles so you can start assembling your wreath.
right, y'all. So we have all of our ribbon cut. I got the red, white, and the blue. And we're going to get that ready for assembly. So I want to do it in order, red, white, and blue. Same thing I'm going to do with my, red, my, my mesh. I'm going to do it in red, white, and blue. I'm going to show you how to put those bundles together and start making the wreath. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start assembling our wreath. So each part of this cross wreath has a section. You're going to put three bundles here, 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 and here. So in total, you're going to have 18 bundles of mesh. But there's two pieces on each bundle. So to put them together, I use pipe cleaners. I have regular pipe cleaners. And the way that I like to do them might be a little bit different than everyone else. But I take all of them and I cut them in half. I bend them and I make two out of each piece. And I like to attach it to the wreath form before I even begin. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the top section right here. And I'm going to start by taking the two middle pieces and I'm going to put it underneath those and bend it up where it's just kind of open. That way I could place my first bundle on there. Now to start my bundles, I'm going to do them. I got three colors, red, white, and blue. So I'm going to go red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white. And I'm going to continue to do it like that. So I cut 15 inch pieces and I'm going to take them and pinch them down the middle all the way up until I get to the other end. So they're going to come out like little bow ties and they look like that. So you just scrunch it up in the middle and make it look like a little bow tie. Now I have a bow dabra, so I'm going to go ahead and place it on there. These are really great because they hold your bows in place. But it looks like a little bow tie. So I'm going to go ahead and do my red, white, blue. And I'm going to continue on all the way through the wreath. So now I'm going to do a white. And now you're just going to lay out your mesh flat. And pinch it in the middle and keep scrunching it all the way up until you get to the other end. So that's my white. Now I like to kind of fluff it out. And push the little frayed ends in the back and then I'm gonna put that on top of the white piece so when it's all said and done it's gonna look like that the white on the top the red on the bottom Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my ribbon I got my red white and blue so I'm gonna take my red piece we fold it in half and dovetailed it I'm just gonna pinch it in the middle and make a little bow and push the little bow ties out and I'm going to crisscross those over the bodabra. So that one's going to be from top to bottom, and the other one's going to go like that, like an X. So now I got my white. I'm going to pinch that, puff it out a little bit, and put it like an X. So it's going to look like that. So you take your entire bundle. And you're going to put your finger on there and just hold it. And you push that right down onto the wreath form. And you push it down in the middle of there. And then you grab those little um, pipe cleaners and you tie it real tight so it doesn't move on the wreath form. And you give it a couple twists. So when you have your first bundle, sorry, the ribbon twisted a little, it's going to look like that. And we're going to keep on doing that. Like I said, each section is going to have three of those. So we've got the red and the white. Now I'm going to do blue. And then I'm going to continue on with the red. So you make it a little bow tie. You puff them out, put the little frayed, frayed ends in the inside, put that on the little bow dabra. Okay, now red. You just lay it out. You're going to keep scrunching it from one end to the other. Puff it out. And then you're going to lay it on top of that. 
So once again, it's going to look like that. Red on top, blue on the bottom. Now I'm going to do my blue ribbon. Puff it out. Run my fingers through it to give it a little puff. Do it crisscross like an X. Do my red. Red, white, blue. Red, white, blue. And you're going to puff it out. And then you make it look like an X. So, once again, that's what it looks like. Oop. Cut it off. Sorry about that. So we're going to puff them out. And then you pinch the whole thing. Use your finger to hold it down right there. And attach it to the next one. Um, you got to remember to put them on there ahead of time. So you're going to go underneath the wreath form on the middle two and bend it so it holds in place. Spread it open so you can put that down. And then once you lay it down, you can twist it to hold it in place. And then you can set, you know, the way you want it and separate it once you have them in there. So there's two of them. And once you're done with the entire wreath, you can start separating the bows. You can organize them, make them look a little bit better, spread it out. So we did red, white, blue. Red, white, blue, red. Now we're going to do white, blue. Just got to keep track of what color you use. So this will be the third bundle on that section. So now we're doing white, puff it out, and then blue. We're going to do the blue on top. gonna look like that so now we got red white blue red white blue and we're just gonna continue on with that same pattern we keep xing the ribbons across them now let me put my pipe cleaner on the wreath form before I try to put it on there I like to do that for a reason uh, you can bundle them together but when you do them like I am, you're getting a nice clean background where you don't have the little tails sticking out right here. So I like to have the tails and the inside, you can kind of bury them once it gets full. You're not even going to see them. You don't have to cut nothing off. That's the reason why I do it like I do. So this will be the last bundle on this section and then we're going to move on to the sides and then start working down the bottom. Now once again, you grab it off, you put your finger on the top. You push it down on the wreath form, and you twist that twisty tie. Give it about three good twists. That's where we're at right there. And now we officially have the first section of the wreath done, and we're going to move on to the other side. So that's how it's looking so far. So let me put another pipe cleaner on there. Now you're going to do the same thing. You weave it in through the bottom, the middle two forms, and you have it sticking out and you get ready for your next bundle. So we did red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white, blue. Now we're going to do red. That down, put the white on top, and then you do 
Same thing with the ribbon. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to keep on repeating that until you are completely through the wreath. And once we get done, I'm going to show you guys how to put a bow in the middle. You can add flowers. You can do anything you want. If you want to add a sign in the middle, however you want to do it. But this is just the basic steps to it and how you get it going. And once I get this wreath finished off, you guys are going to see how full it looks, how pretty. And then we're going to work on that bow in the middle. And that's what's going to give it its last little uh, pop. Once again, you got a bundle. Now this one we are putting on the side. Like I said, each section is going to be three bundles. And then you want to go ahead and move that mesh around. You're going to make those sides go up and down. And as you do more and more, it's just going to start coming back to life. Now we did red and white. Now we got blue and then red again. So we got the blue. We got the red on there. Do the same thing with the bow. Like I said, you can do any colors, any type of mesh, any type of ribbon. You do want to have the wire ribbon so it bends the way you like it to. But you can use as many or as little colors as you want to. And if you want to, you could do red, red, white, white, blue, blue. You don't have to do red, white, blue, red, white, blue. So you know, whatever color scheme, however you think you want it, that's the way you're going to, you know, make it work. So I have to go ahead and put the pipe cleaner on the wreath form again so I can put that bundle on. And then you're going to continue to do this all the way through. Hopefully um, this is helpful. I would really like you guys to leave me comments and let me know, you know, if you attempted to make one yourself and how well um, my instructions work for you. But I am just a super crafter and creator. I love to do stuff like this and I wanted to share it with you guys in case you wanted to do your own. and. As we go, like I said, it keeps getting fuller and fuller. You're going to see it at the end. It's going to be really pretty. Um, it takes probably an hour or two by the time you cut all the material and you put it together and assemble it. Now, one tip that I want to give you guys when you're doing this end piece, like I said, you got three bundles on each end. When you're getting to the end of the uh, cross, make sure you make it really tight. You don't want it flopping around on the end of it. So now we're going to do white and blue to get that last little section of the side of the cross done. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue on and, you know, um, like I said, let me know what you guys think. I know that when I made the Easter one, um, everybody loved it. I love these cross wreaths, and when you make them like this, they're really super full and big. Um, if you like something that's a little bit more classic and clean and doesn't have all of the extra added to it, I also have a video on my playlist of that as well, where you just kind of wrap the wreath form in ribbon or mesh, and... Um, you can make it more narrow if you have a smaller doorway or, you know, even with a wreath, you don't have to have it on your front door. You can also put it inside your house. Um, you can have it at various walls or doorways inside of your home that look just as nice. So um, I know a lot of people think when you have a wreath, it's like a front door thing, but not always. It, it's a beautiful decoration. Um, and with something like this, you can make it whatever colors you want it to be for whatever theme, whatever holiday. 
Um, I will come back and show you guys like a regular plain circle wreath that you can make that doesn't have to be a cross. Um, it's the same basic thing, you know, you're still putting three bundles on each one of them. You're going to spread out your ribbon, you're going to spread out your mesh, and you know, it starts really coming to life. It looks beautiful and it's very festive. Um, that's two parts of it. We still have another four parts to go. So um, let me just keep working on that and we'll come back. So I have the top three sections done. Now I just got to finish off the bottom three sections. So if you look, I have three, three, and three. And I got to do another three, three, and three to finish off the wreath. But so far it's looking really good. I love the way it's coming out. You just want to continue with the pattern and do your red, white, and blue. Going to continue to make your little bundles. Got the red, the white, on making all of those bundles
piece of this three, 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 got two more sections to go. And that's what it's looking like so far. And continue on to the last couple pieces. in the white and all you're gonna do is take these bundles make sure you have them held tightly use your finger to hold it down and push that up against the wreath form with the pipe cleaner and then you're going to give it a couple good twists around there. And then you just fluff out your mesh and your ribbon. And it starts looking like that. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working at it. I've got about five more to go. So that was red, white, now blue. go red again. ribbon and then the red. And just put that in there. Push it down, hold it, and twist the pipe cleaner really tight. Why you want to use the wire ribbon because you can bend it the way you want it to look. So we got one more on that section and then we got one more section to go. This is the entire cross wreath from top to bottom. It's finally finished. I got all of the sections done. And that's what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put a nice big bow in the middle and fill it out and make it look super duper pretty. Um, hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know if you made one yourself. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel. And um, we're going to come back in a minute, and I'm going to show you my finished Memorial Day cross wreath. 
Okay, so for the last part of the wreath, we're going to go ahead and put a bow in the middle. So, if you look in the back, you have this little section. You're going to attach a pipe cleaner to these two. And I'm going to use an entire pipe cleaner. I'm not going to cut them in half. And I'm going to go ahead and separate the mesh and kind of put a hole in the middle so I can fit that bow in there. And I'm going to put the pipe cleaner through from the back and pull it out to the front so it sits in the back like that. I have one pipe cleaner and I have the middle of it right here. That's where I'm going to attach my bow to. So for my bow, um, you can add as many pieces of ribbon as you want to. You could do the same ones. You could do different ones. I'm going to add this red and white striped one. Now I think I'm going to do it, let's see, probably about a 10 inch tail. And... I'm going to lay that in there, give it a twist, and I'm going to make about a five inch bow. So it's going to look like that. And then I'm going to give it another twist. Make another five inch tail. inches and my bow is going to look like that. So I'm just going to leave that here and for my second ribbon I'm going to use this one and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make 10 inch tails, give it a twist, make a 5 inch loop, Give it a twist, make another five inch loop, and another 10 inch tail. So now my bow looks like that. And I'm just going to continue to do that. You can make them as long or short as you want them to be. Um, Now these ones I'm going to make the tails a little bit shorter so I'll probably go instead of 10 inches maybe about 8 inches for these. Give it a twist and I'm going to make the loop 4 inches instead of 5. Give it a twist, do another 4 inch hoop. And another eight inch tail. So it looks like that. And I'm just going to continue to add until I like the amount of ribbon. Now, this I'm going to do the same thing eight inch tail, four inch loop. So now this is what my bow looks like. So it's just as much or little ribbon as you want to add to it. Um, I don't know if I should add more or not. 
maybe let's see. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. So once you have all your ribbons and tails right here, I have four different bows. I'm just going to take the whole bundle and I'm going to attach it to that middle pipe cleaner that I had. And you grab it and you give it one great big pinch and you stick it on those pipe cleaners and you give it a great big twist. And then just like I showed you before, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dovetail all of those ends. So you're going to bend them. And cut them on an angle it just gives it a nice finished look to it and you're going to do that to all of the pieces of ribbon that you have on there You're going to go ahead and spread out all of your tails and then you're going to go ahead and, and poof out all of your ribbons that you have in there. And once it's all said and done and you have all of your ribbon in place, you're going to puff it out and there is your bow. It gives the middle of it a nice full look. And put everything in place. And there you go, your Memorial Day cross wreath. What do you guys think? Let me know if it came out really nice. And that's how I do it. Take care.